Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences at Paul State Walden University with the joint faculty appointment at Dallas University <coughs> School of Medicine. Um, and I wanted to um, expand on the uh, PICO discussion that I was having, having from the previous video, um, but this is more um, directly applicable to the um, evidence-based uh, medicine, and this is actually f um, part of uh, the medical sciences division, but um, widely used in uh, different uh, institutions and universities. So when you're thinking about uh, tips for um, building um, a focused question, um, so when you're creating evidence-based medicine, um, you need well-built clinical questions. Well-built clinical questions are important. Um, so surrounding the patient or problem, starting with your patient, ask how would I describe a group of patients similar to mine. Um, so balance precision with brevity. So you, you don't want this to be too long, um, but you also want it to be precise. Um, example, in patients with heart failure from dilated cardiomyopathy who are in sinus rhythm. Very specific, very detailed um, uh, looking at very, something very specific. Um, the intervention, which main intervention am I considering to be specific? So would adding an anticoagulation with warfarin um, to standard heart failure therapy actually um, improve um, some of these conditions? Um, compares and intervention, um, what is the main alternative to compare with the intervention? Again, be specific when compared with standard therapy alone. Ask what I can hope to accomplish or what could this exposure really affect? Again, be specific lead to lower mortality or morbidity from thromboembolism. Um, is this enough to be worth the increasing risk of bleeding? So you have a pro and con to kind of weigh. Um, and then I like this educational um, prescription principle. And all it is here, um, switching um, to um, uh, clinical. So you go into the, your, um, your patient's um, room and um, try to create, give them an education prescription. Um, you look at the patient's name, learner, um, target disorder, intervention, comparison, outcome, date, and place to be filled. So in here, um, you provide um, search strategies, after which you provide search, search strategies, search results. Um, and it's all coming out of this three-part clinical question. So this is considered a educational prescription, and it's designed in that way. Um, and so um, I hope this has uh, shed some light and insight into um, the PICO model um, from a different perspective. Thank you for listening.